Welcome back. We're gonna do our first unboxing video with you guys today. And uh, we got a couple other really cool things that uh, arrived this week. Uh, we, we'll start with that. We'll start with that. We got, uh, you guys probably heard of this dude before. That's uh, OCG, old car guy. He, uh, he obviously sent us something here. Let's see what we got going on. I get to open this one. Jeff, oh, gets, Jeff gets to do one by himself, too. It's not a check. No? No. Unfortunately? Unfortunately. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Wow. Jason, this is awesome. Uh, There's no one? Stickers in the stickers. Check this out, guys. There, again, and yes, absolutely cool. awesome. Thank you so much, Jason. Very Appreciate cool. it. Really good. Those are nice stickers. That goes with maybe better than that one. Okay, next one. <clears throat> we have, uh, sorry, stuff with Cletus, way down in Arkansas. That's uh, that's like super foreign to us because. They don't get snow. We do. They might. Maybe. You guys from Arkansas let us know if it snows down there. Stuff with Cletus stickers. Wicked. Awesome. Thank you very much. Excellent. So, we actually, uh, we have a spot to put all this stuff on. We were trying to figure out where to put it. We don't want to stick it on our vehicles because if we sell them, then we got to take the stickers off and, you know, it's just going to ruin them. So. We'll show you that in a little bit. Hang on, we'll do it right now. Okay, do it now. Hang on. So we got our map and our sign over here. We had an extra whiteboard. So we zapped the thing on the wall up there and that's where all your guys' decals are gonna go. And whoever sends us decals, we're gonna send you decals back. We'll send them back. What's next, man? Uh, okay, well, as everybody is probably seen, it's been uh, Dodge Hell here lately. What do you call that? Uh, Dodge debauchery. Yeah. Yeah, the saga continues. Yeah. So obviously we had to order parts. So if you have one of these on your 5.9 and it breaks, yep. you're gonna put cooling to your transmission and you're gonna get that strawberry milkshake. That's what happened to uh, that's what happened. That's what happened. So, we should have a new one. What is that? The heat exchange. So what this guy does is, uh, you get coolant, coolant runs through this side. This goes to your transmission and it heats up your transmission coolant. Keeps it around 150. So uh, consistently, so it keeps your, con uh, your transmission, like your converter is the most important part for the, uh, to keep the uh, tra transmission happy. And, uh, well, it ended up being unhappy. We're gonna make it happy again, because there's the rebuilt one. And, yeah. well, and we got that other one back. We got our second uh, uh, auto recycler transmission for the other Dodge truck sitting over there. So yeah, here's, a, here's our new heat exchanger. Um, comes with the bracket, because we assume that all these other fasteners on this one were gonna be junk because how many of you guys think used. these would break off? I think yeah, uh, I think all four of them would break off. So that's why I ordered uh, the bracket. So when uh, when Dave was dumping the transmission fluid in his 05, uh, I was sitting here, sitting over at our little workbench. And he was saying some stuff that I knew wasn't uh, wasn't good. <laughs> so if you remember, this was the magnet that came out of our first recycled transmission. Had this little had this little uh, piece of snap ring in there. Yeah. Then we opened up Dave's, and it's like twin weak. Only thing is, uh, for whatever reason, we we added leaves to this one, so we had leaves in. Leaves in the transmission. Yeah, so, we got it all out in here. So guys. the transmission has left us. So it's all good now, it's all been rebuilt. Yep. So ready to go back into that. 
that guy right there. So that's going to be, that's uh, the continuation of uh, Dodge Week, plus the other transmission is going to go into the other truck, which is outside. Yeah. So that's boring stuff, so we're not going to film, we're just going to talk about it. As far as parts go, that's, that's good. The other thing is, we got ourselves a microphone. Yes. So the next time we have a live feed with anybody, including ourselves, you'll be able to hear us properly because that was uh, really horrible audio last uh, last weekend when we were on with Coastal, Coastal Auto Reaction, Community Not Competition, the CNC group. There's a whole bunch of us in there. Check us out, Instagram, follow all that stuff. Go to their channels, watch their videos and their ads, subscribe, help out the group so we can keep growing. And if you're a new YouTuber, then Leave us a comment, we'll go check out your channel, give you a sub, give you a like, all that good stuff. That's what we do as a community not competition group. Exactly. So that's that addition. And, that, and that's gonna help with our videos too. Like, I know sometimes the, the uh, audio is not great on our videos, so hopefully that'll help with that. Uh, obviously we're not using that right now, so if this video is not great audio wise, just hang on. Bear with us. We'll get there. What do we want to do next? We can do this when it's open. So we got our uh, our bushing our bushing rebuild kit for uh, for days 05 because it's so if you watched some of the other stuff on this 05, the rear shackles on this thing are seized from sitting. Like the suspension is the, the tire, the sidewall. Like it it, it, it drives no like garbage. So. We might do a video on that because we're gonna to have to sawzall everything out and then press the bushings out, put the new ones in. Might make for some interesting uh, uh, content. Practice your patience. Yes. Good word. That's probably what it's gonna be. Good word. So there's, there's that. It's everything. So there's that. And uh, we don't know what this is because we haven't opened it yet. It's light. Not a puppy. Is, this, is it suspense killing you? Oh. Because it's, it's just, it's like a 10 grand over here. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to open any of this stuff until Dave showed up. It's like Christmas morning. It kind of sucked. He was walking over to the pile of boxes. I said, no. Yeah. You leave those alone. I, I, I have a plan for this. I we see. need to show the people. We, we need to do an unboxing video because everybody else does one. We felt left out. This is what we got. That's what I was waiting for. That's a cool old Oldsmobile. Nice. So what is it? I don't know if it's a, it's a transmission filter. Did we order a transmission filter? I did, yep. For what? For this, the old five. Uh, probably came with one, but okay. We got a spare. Got a spare. I don't know if that's good or bad luck or karma or whatever you call that. <laughs> yeah. You never know with me what amount of stuff I break all the time, right? Okay. It's under box number two. Oh, Rambler. That's cool. Yeah. What do we got there? This is the flexi hose that goes to one hose. And we're supposed to have two. We're supposed to have two. So. Not cool. Good thing I didn't take the other one off yet. Okay. Mm. Practice your patience. Yeah. Game Rats, game. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and we recently have become. Uh, involved with these guys so if anybody is uh, any questions about Amsoil, uh we might be able to answer the question since we're brand new we're not we're like experts. super new we're not experts at this but uh, we've had a lot of guys come to us and say we need some good uh, quality fluids for like our bikes and our hot rods and all our high performance stuff utvs we got a bunch of guys uh, that have already ordered from us and they're really happy with the product so any questions about that we can try and answer them deal of the day found this unopened uh, transmission fluid full synthetic hands oil 25 bucks and it's worth what 50 60 I think it's 50 bucks 50 bucks Canadian right 
But we need three more of these just for Dave's transmission. So we've got a big, big order going in for whatever's going on around here. Yeah. And uh, we got something obviously a little different again today, which we'll get to right shortly. So stay tuned. You're right, right, right back. Okay, guys. Uh, one thing before we get to the something special that's happening here today, which we'll get to in a little bit. Jeff's been uh, doing some upgrade stuff to Chief, and uh, what'd you do? Having some fun with them. Uh, first of all, you can't see right now because Dave's got to turn the camera down. Oh, so let's do that. Okay, let's do that, Dave. I added these. Uh, they're like a spotlight driving light kind of thing. Stadium is the brand name. They're they're an English uh, manufacturer apparently, but they're kind of cool because they're um, they're adjustable. They're very cool. Sorry, that was the horn. That works. So you can set your uh, you can set your brightness on off, and they're they're, they're pretty cool. Looks especially cool when you put the headlights on. And they run off the key, so they're basically my, my running lights, I guess you'd say. So, so I did that. Uh, added some new, uh, new skins to it. Our buddy Richard had uh, a set of six bolt rims that are perfectly, uh, what would you say? Perfectly shitty. I guess I can say that. I'm gonna say that. Probably shouldn't, but I did. Anyway, these are these are the, the front tires off the Camaro, simply because these aren't the ones we're gonna run. And I had my choice of center caps or uh, dog dishes. So I got these chrome ones, or I had these white ones. Basically the same cap. Obviously, this is an upgraded version. So. A little while ago, I put this set of caps on just to show, just, just to try and compare which one I wanted. So I put the white one on, sitting back looking at it, and all of a sudden, for whatever reason, it just basically spit itself off. So there's my answer. That's the one we're running with. Well, unless you guys think you like the white ones better, let us know. No, well, Chief says no. Well, so it's not happening. He, tell, he likes the chrome. Tell Jeff what, what, whatever you guys want. And then uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be going on a reliability run next weekend with Brent from half Ass Customs. So I noticed there was a whole lot of fuel leaking around. It's actually was coming out of the throttle shaft on this carburetor. So we had another one. This is this is brand new, old school NOS NOS uh, carburetor. Where'd that come from? This came with uh, the estate with all the other. Uh, the goodies like with the, the T-Bird and the Thunderbird and the, the Mustang was in there and the uh, Eldorado you're right and then something else we haven't even told you guys about yet so this one came with a, an electric choke so we ended up getting the cap off and luckily enough it came with a conversion to do a manual choke so we're gonna put that on hopefully it's gonna be better it can't be any worse because this thing just puked everywhere so that's gonna go on Got new skins on it. And there'll be a video with uh, uh, Jeff, myself, on uh, doing that, what do you call it? What Brent from Half House Custom call it? Reliability Run. Reliability Run. So we'll do, uh, we'll do a bunch of stuff there. You'll see that later. So uh, obviously we're not doing it until whenever we do it. Next weekend. Next weekend. happen next weekend. Okay, so, so next weekend. And today, because it's uh, Saturday, was sobering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna. Dave and I were talking. I think we're gonna start something, and we're gonna call it that. Saturday was sober. Just stuff that's going on on the weekend. Yeah, because we don't do a lot of filming uh, on some of the boring stuff, like tranny swaps on from Dodge Week. I don't want to do that. That's yeah. It's not. It's not. Whatever. If you guys want to see it. Us struggling, hammering trannies in and out and transfer case and stuff. Let us know and uh, then we'll do it. But otherwise, it's uh, no. 
too boring for us. We'd rather do uh, like talk about Chief uh, and what's going to be happening right after this. Yeah. Uh, that's more fun for us, we'll call it. But hey, you guys let us know what you want from us and we'll get her done. No problem. So that pretty much uh, leads us into the next portion and we'll be right back. We'll be back. Okay, so as promised, we just got a text from our buddy Vinny, the guy that has the jet boat, that yellow one on, uh, on the other videos. He said he's coming down to the shop for a visit on his uh, rocket ship. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, just wait for this guy to show up and check out what's happening with that. You're, I think you're gonna be impressed. We, we are. <laughs> All right, in a minute. Right on. Man, how's it going? <laughs> hey guys. Wow. I think I heard you from like a mile away. So you guys remember Vinny from uh, the jet boat uh, video? He's got he's got one of these things. Um, uh, yeah. He's a speed freak. Like there, there's no evidence, so we're gonna, I'm gonna ask a question and we'll get, we'll get an answer and then we can all just go, oh my God, that's retarded. <laughs> How fast? Uh, 330. 330 kilometers an hour. Right. Um, and it does, uh, it's got 205 horse. Nope. <laughs> no. He wants me to take this thing for a ride too. No. He's, he's trying to kill me. I think that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to kill me. We're not going to do like we're not going to do another like uh, add-on to the movie Death Wish. That that's he can do that by himself. So what uh, what exactly is this rig, man? It's a 2006 uh, ZX-10R. Uh, it's got a two brothers exhaust system on it, Canon air filter, and a Commander uh, computer. Just going to grab you guys out of here and show you the stuff while uh, Vinny tells us what it is. Like we're saying, it's a, it's a 2006 ZX-10R. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it's got uh, twin exhaust on it. Uh, I'm running about 205, 206 horse right now. You're not supposed to see that. <laughs> Sorry. What was that again, Vin? Sorry? It's uh, running about 205, 206 horse right now. Jeez. Steering dampener, obviously. Yeah. Important. Those custom levers. Yeah. There it is. A lot of this, a lot of the stuff on this bike is custom. So just so you guys know, uh, Vinny's a, a professional uh, at riding these things. He's taken. Uh, where did you take those courses at? Uh, I was. Uh, I had a chance to go to uh, Will Springs track in uh, the Mojave Desert, in California. Uh, California Superbike Schools. I went and spent uh, a weekend there uh, learning how to utilize this thing to the best of its ability. So that was pretty, it was amazing actually. And Willow Springs track, I'm sure uh, anybody that's into racing knows uh, the history behind. It's one of the oldest tracks in the, in the States, I believe. Um, it's, it's a very famous track. So we got to, uh, I got to ride this thing for an entire weekend at Willow Springs track and learn how to, uh, how to race it. So that was, uh, that was really amazing. And what was your average speed on that while you were doing your racing? Uh, well, the fastest, I think, because we're on the, the back, it was a 1.8 mile course. Uh, we're coming in at turn one at about 115 mile an hour. Yeah. So, no. Uh, on that. And so, how far over do you lean? Because you've got these. Uh, 
Like you got some pretty serious gear on here. That's is that a, that's a lean well, pad on here. Um, these these are actually rubbing on the on the. On, these are touching pit concrete when I'm going around the corners. At 115 and, miles an hour. Well, not at the 110. You're probably not getting down that low, but at uh, 85, 90 mile an hour, there's some curves that come around here. Your pads are touching on the concrete. You're insane. <laughs> Does anybody want to try this? No. Not for me. No. Wow. That's that's super. I'll put you guys back in here, sir. So uh, you were mentioning in Texas that you're coming down that uh, you want to do something special for us today. Yes, uh, I could do that. Yeah, no problem. Would you like to see that right now? Yeah. Let, let's let's do that. Yeah, I wish you would. And Luke from Camp Kiefer. We talked to Vinny and told him who you are, and we and this is for you, man. All right, here we go. That's wicked, man. Thanks, Vinny. No Appreciate it. Okay, guys, we're gonna. He needs a new tire now. Yeah. <laughs> I always change the tire anyway. It's all good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna shut her down. It's getting a little oh, bit wait, longer. Gonna show us. Uh, oh yeah, the newest right. thing. The newest thing that we've added here. So earlier, earlier in the video. We were given some uh, stickers from some very cool stations, or channels rather. Stuff with Cletus, old car guy. We put this whiteboard up here. This is where we're gonna start displaying all our, all our stickers that everybody sends. And we're adding, we're keeping all the envelopes. That way we're never gonna lose anybody's return address because we are obviously gonna resend stuff back. So, I don't know, that's just, that's the plan with that stuff we do. Once again, the map, send us your location. We'll give you a pin. Just like all those guys over there we really appreciate that it's fun for us to just you know track all this stuff and uh we have this guy this is our sub sub tachometer uh we're just under 2,000 subscribers let's get here yeah that'd be awesome or here let's redline this thing again yeah let's then we can add another zero to it that'd be fun is that right help us out guys we appreciate that uh, we got some shout outs to do. Uh, right. Where's that? That's over here. <coughs> in, the, in the smoke haze? Ninja haze going on. Ninja. Okay, so. Okay, so a uh, bunch of channels that we haven't mentioned before in our shout outs. Uh, one of them is Hooks Hot Rods. He's a fellow Canadian. He actually gave me some advice way earlier in our in our uh, youtube career about my old international truck and he's close to dave's place out there in ontario right yeah i believe he's very close to uh, scott roads exactly um of course thank you for the stickers uh, old car guy jason appreciate it man definitely appreciate it stuff with cletus thank you so much your stuff's heading your way buddy uh bad ombre garage i don't think he's canadian though is he no, I think he's in the States. He's in the States. But Tell us where you're at. Check out Bad Ombre. He's yeah. got some pretty cool footage. Very. Uh, of course, Ray Marco, Robert's Garage, 615 Customs. These guys have just been... Really? Puking our channel yeah. out, basically, all over Instagram, which we totally appreciate it. And then, last but not least, uh, Camp Kiefer, Lucas. Right on, Luke. So... And you guys are coastal too, because you developed the community but not competition. Absolutely. The CNC group, Brotherhood, it's awesome. Come and check it out. Like, share, subscribe, go check out the other guys, do the same thing. You guys have an awesome afternoon while we suck on tire smoke, which is yeah, I can't the remember. greatest. <laughs> right Later on. group. Right on. Bye.